Oda has been secretly hiding a character in the back of the One Piece manga for almost 30 years. Meet Panda Man, and his first appearance is in chapter 44 of the manga, and then episode 16 of the anime. Originally designed for a character creation contest, Oda decided to add him in as a running joke throughout all of One Piece. But this is just one of 34 weird facts about One Piece we got for you today, and the last fact is so strange, I genuinely did not believe it was real. But before that, we have a bizarre fact about Kid and Killer. When Kid and Killer were young, they were eating curry udon with their crush, Shirutan Doria Naika. Unfortunately for Shirutan, she still the curry all over herself, leading to both Kid and Killer laughing at her. Well, she was outraged by this and decided to beat the two of them up. This tiny detail actually went on to make Kid and Killer's least favorite food curry udon as it reminded them of the brutal beatdown. Did you know that Brooke is the only straw hat who never met any of Luffy's brothers? Sabo is first introduced during the Dressrosa arc when he meets part of the crew. During this time, Brooke was already on Zoe, and Brooke wasn't even a part of the crew when they met Ace and Alabasta. I could I couldn't blame you if you weren't paying too much attention to details like that. After all, One Piece has now been going on for like, what, 25 years? I mean, that wasn't always the case. Yes, back when Ichiro Oda was first planning One Piece, he actually only planned for the manga to go on for five years. Initially, the story would have mainly revolved around the Emperors of the Sea as the main villains, with almost every warlord being removed entirely. But Oda worried that this could make the show a little bit too quick, and so he began to create various warlords to fill in some of the gaps and allow the story to last just a tiny bit longer. However, I can not imagine Oda quite expected it to take 25 years instead. Yeah, the dudes added countless new story arcs and characters to One Piece throughout its entire history, but some terms used within One Piece were added in last minute, such as the Supernovas. The Supernovas was actually a last minute addition to the One Piece universe from Oda to make these rookies seem all the more impressive. And actually, just a little bonus fact, did you know that Zoro is the only Supernova who does not have a Devil Fruit power? This is because Killer ate a Smile Fruit, which has little to no purpose other than it just makes him smile and obviously removes his ability to swim. So that makes Zoro all the more impressive. But did you know that originally Oda had way different plans for Zoro? While Oda was first designing the Straw Hat Pirates, there was one very noticeable absence. No Zoro. So surely Oda didn't just design him yet, right? Well, not quite. Before Oda had designed Buggy's two head honchos, he'd actually planned for Zoro to be the right-hand man to Buggy. It is so hard to imagine a One Piece universe where Zoro was only a buggy pirates. But shifting gears a little bit, One Piece has a pretty confusing perspective on time. Obviously, One Piece is a very long show to watch, with new fans of the show having to watch over 1,000 episodes in order to catch up. But did you know that in the first 12 years of the anime airing, only four months had passed in the One Piece world? But did you know that Crocodile knew about Hockey's existence during his fight with Luffy? Crocodile's devil fruit powers are very interesting, to say the least, with him basically being able to be immune to any attack that comes his way. So when Luffy starts to beat the crap out of him, Crocodile thought Luffy was using Hockey. You can actually tell this from his reaction where he says he couldn't have. So cool! Unfortunately, though, not every character can be quite as cool as Crocodile, but I will admit there are some characters out there who surprise me, such as Bon Clay. And did you know that we actually had Bon Clay's story spoiled for us? Yep, thanks to the One Piece manga covers, we knew that Bon Clay would become the new queen of New Land, as well as survive his fight with Magellan. Unfortunately, the manga covers can be pretty bad at spoiling stuff. And actually, another bonus fact I have about Bon Clay is that he is never never had a female partner like the rest of the Baroque Works agents. This is because Bon Clay identifies as both male and female, with him claiming that he does not need a female partner, as he is the female partner. Slay! <laughs> It's kind of cool how well One Piece represents reality and modern cultures within its material, but this next fact may just take it one step further. Did you know that all of the admirals within the Marines are based off of real life actors within Japan? Here's another bonus fact about these very same admirals. Did you know that each admiral wears a different uniform based on their devil fruit powers? Aokiji with the ability to control ice wore a blue shirt. Kazaru wore a yellow suit, had the ability to control light, and Akainu wore a red suit with the ability to control magma. Such minor details we're talking about here, guys, but as we've already established, they all help to build the world of One Piece, even the small stuff. But sometimes the world of One Piece is not what you'd expect. In fact, I dare say it is most of the time. In fact, there has been one of the biggest Easter eggs in all of anime during One Piece, and very few people have even noticed it. Oda is a Pokemon fan. There have been multiple instances of Pokemon influencing One Piece. For example, this page in the manga features a mythical Pokemon 
Pokemon known as Meltan. Just a cool little detail, but did you also know that there's an animal within the Wano Country arc that bears a very familiar look? It looks just like the Pokemon Swinub. One Piece has had numerous hidden Easter eggs and references like this throughout its history, but sometimes those references are very much obvious. Back when Naruto was coming to an end, Oda decided to pay tribute to the legendary manga by drawing a cover art featuring both Luffy and Naruto eating a bowl of ramen. Ramen is an integral part of the world of Naruto, and it's, it's just like a nice little Easter egg. But that begs the question, is Naruto canon to One Piece? No, probably not. But dude, sometimes payoffs to questions like these can take years. It just goes to show how much effort goes into One Piece with entire plot points sometimes taking whole decades to pay off. This is no different than what we see happen with Sanji. For years, people felt like there was more to Sanji than met the eye. All the way back in the Alabasta arc when Sanji was speaking to Crocodile, he called himself Mr. Prince. Initially, fans brushed this off as Sanji trying to get into Crocodile's head. However, decades later, we finally learned that Sanji is an actual prince within the world of One Piece, specifically in the North Blue. Somehow, One Piece is able to cover up these details and make the grand reveals far more interesting, even though we knew the outcome years ago. Sometimes, other details can take years for fans to properly realize, but I don't think many people know this next fact about Tropical Law. Did you know his ship is actually called the Polar Tang? This is, of course, a reference to polluting, which ships like this do in abundance. However, jokes and references like this normally aren't so obvious, such as the secret of Spandam's mask. Spandam is perhaps best remembered for his iconic mask, but did you know that this mask is actually based on the WWE wrestler Mick Foley, better known as Mankind? In fact, this similarity is so similar that even Mankind made a tweet years ago saying, is Oda-sensei copying me? Oda is certainly a funny character, whether it be his commentary on various real-world themes or even his references to other iconic anime and mangas within One Piece. But did you know that the dude is actually a huge narcissist? In a good way. You can actually find Oda's real name in various locations. In one scene, you can see a book on Nami's shelf with Oda's just full name right there. Oda even tried hiding it in the Baradier, with it being found on the restroom mirror. And actually, one other extra bonus bonus fact about the Baradier. Did you know that its size changes between shots within the anime? Every time the show calls back to the Baradier, it grows four times its size. Moving on, One Piece is a very inclusive show, with the Straw Hat Pirates all being different ethnicities and races. Luffy was designed as a Brazilian person, Zoro was Japanese, Nami Swedish, Usopp African, and Sanji French. It's amazing how One Piece, true to real life, includes all these cultures in the exact same world. In fact, the One Piece world is filled with countless races, religions, cultures, and more across the world. But sometimes these cultures and people are closer to Luffy than you might think, such as Sabo. Did you know that Sabo is actually in Logtown during Luffy's execution? In the manga, you can see someone standing within the crowd with a very obvious top hat. Now, this is not confirmed to be Sabo, but come on, this this is Sabo. Also, completely changing topics, Luffy had no idea what mermaids looked like. <laughs> I didn't have a good segue for that one. In one episode of the anime, Luffy draws what he believes a mermaid looks like, just being a fish with legs. Everyone mocks him for this, as obviously that is not what mermaids look like, right? Well, funnily enough, he was almost right. In a scene filled with mermaids, you can see a similar fish creature turn up to the crowd that looks exactly like what Luffy drew. Maybe Luffy knew more about mermaids than we all thought. Did you know that according to Oda, Lucky Roo is the fastest fighter within the entire world of One Piece? He even surpasses Kid Zaru and Enel, which is absolutely insane. Unfortunately, we never got to see the three of them race, but oh man, I'd make good money on Lucky Ruin. I spoke earlier about the name of Laws of Shit being a reference to pollution, but did you know that this is not the only belonging of Laws that have a hidden meaning behind its name? Laws of Sword is actually named after a Japanese mythology spirit that likes to wander around to get revenge on those who killed him. And this makes a lot of sense in Laws' case. Laws' entire family was wiped out to a disease, and then when he joined the Doflamingo Pirates, another person who was important to him died. So this sword definitely fits him. The sword's name being Kikoku, by the way. It took years for Luffy to come across the Doflamingo Pirates, and actually it took them a long time to get to where they currently are. But I bet that you didn't know that Oda has actually stated that Luffy is a horrendous pirate in terms of finding the One Piece. Once upon a time, Oda hypothesized an alternate universe in which Akainu was the protagonist of One Piece. Within this hypothesized universe, Oda claimed that Akainu would have definitely found the One Piece by now. In fact, within a year of departure, which I don't think I have to tell 
tell you is absolutely insane. However, this next fact is even more insane in a pretty cool way. Most of the time, the authors of the manga don't listen to their editors at all. This is not what Oda does, though. Remember the iconic scene where Shanks loses his arm while defending Luffy? Well, this would have never happened if not for one of the editors at One Piece. Oda was told by one of his editors that Shanks should lose his arm defending Luffy to up the stakes of the manga a bit more. And thankfully, he did. Because Shanks has become even more formidable being single-handedly one of the best characters in One Piece. Unfortunately, though, one of the show animators actually forgot Shanks had one hand and animated in this scene with Ace. Also, this happened to Crocodile, too. And it didn't just happen to Shanks and Crocodile. Margaret from Amazon Lily was accidentally animated with three whole legs. But I get it. So animators mess up sometimes, all right? We're all human. But Oda didn't mess up on this change. Because the dude's inhuman. <laughs> Chopper was originally going to look like this tall, weird deer man instead of the cute little guy we got now. But flipping the page, quite literally, did you know if you see Luffy's first Gear 4 appearance at chapter 783 and then flip to 387, you actually get the manga chapter Gear 2nd was introduced in. Have you ever wondered who Oda's favorite One Piece characters are? Well, according to him, they are Blackbeard and Buggy. And that is not a hot take at all. Buggy and Blackbeard are S-tier characters. But, in my opinion, nothing compared to Zoro, okay? You wanna know why Zoro is one of my favorites? Because his chest is huge! I mean, literally. Zoro's got a bigger chest size than both Nami and Robin, who have become two of the most exaggerated characters within all of One Piece. Look at this guy. If you're trying to get the Zoro gains, then click on this video right here.